guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ali if you're new here so today's video is all about talking about a self tan that I don't understand why nobody's talking about I don't know if this is like new to the market or just new to me or new to Ireland we tend to get things way later than pretty much everywhere else in the world so anyways I was at my local grocery store and I happened to walk by this Hawaiian Tropics self tan ultra dark tanning mousse and I was just like hmm do I need it and I like walked away and then I was like no no I need it and so I went back and I got it and boy oh boy am I glad that I did because this is my new favorite tanning mousse this is just like a dark horse like you just wouldn't really be thinking oh Hawaiian Tropic tanning mousse it's more like sunscreen and tanning oils and when you think of like self tanners you think of loving tan bali body saint tropez this isn't really one that comes to mind at least not for me you can pick this up for under ten dollars in america i saw it on amazon for like seven something so that's wild here it's about i think like 12 or 13 euro because again they like to inflate all the prices for everything here especially when it's imported so that's still a great deal because the tan that i was using before which was the loving tan that was like 40 or 60 US dollars. <laughs> Choking because that number is painful. Saint Tropez, same thing, it's like 40. Um, I was using the Molly May filter for ages. That one's really nice. I think that's like 30 ish. They're somewhere in there. I can't really remember. Bali body, similar. So, anyways. I saw this and I was like, I need to give it a go. It says that it hydrates while you tan, flawless streak free glow, tropical scent, dermatologist tested. It does smell kind of like coconuts. Now it doesn't like last linger on your skin the whole time that you're tanning. I do notice it right when I apply it and then as it's setting, I don't notice any like funky smell or like an overwhelming coconutty scent which I really like. I don't feel super nasty sticky when I wear this. That being said, I wouldn't say that I feel like super, super like dry. I mean, it's not like it's transferring, like it's not like sticky when I touch it, but you can still feel like you're wearing self tan. You know what I mean? So I always use a tanning mitt. This one is, I think the Saint Tropez, or wait, no, Tan Organic. And it is a microfiber mitt and you can throw this in the washing machine don't dry it because you will melt the inside layer but i really like this one it's just really easy to use i like the microfiber um there are plenty of mitts to choose from so it's not like it's do or die with this one i just like it so it is just like a regular pump like a tanning mousse you know you know how they are um this does come out I'll pop up the b-roll so you can see me applying this and all that jazz it comes out a real like olive like almost green tint which i personally like i don't like the super orangey undertones i definitely prefer a more olive undertone so i was in, in, like immediately glad to see that on the back it says you should leave it on for up to six hours i think i left it on for seven hours but the time before that was six and it also says that if you want, you can apply a second coat once your first coat is fully dry, which I did, but we will get to that. I always put on lotion around like my wrists, my elbows. You can see they're even still like, you just can't win. Knees, feet, ankles. I also put uh, lotion under my armpits because I don't tan my armpits because I don't like when it like peels and gets nasty. And I don't self tan my face. Um, I use too many exfoliants for there to be any point to that. So I just have to match my face. So I don't know how this works on the face. I'm sure it's fine. I've never had issues with any of my self tans on the face. I just don't use this one on my face. So after I have applied the tanning foam with my mitt, I go over with this brush. So each section. So if I do a leg, then I take this brush after and I just buff in kind of like circular motions and it gets my tan really, really, really even. And there are zero streaks when I do this. Not that it necessarily, you know, washes off and looks streaky after but this just really helps to make it look super even and natural so i always do this and it's great for when you use the excess you can go over your fingers and your feet and all that i got this on amazon i can link it down below i will link all of these products down below because <laughs> we don't gatekeep here and that's just what this channel is about obviously once i've let the tan set for about 10 minutes i go in and i only use this 
I spray the foam on it and as soon as you spray the foam on it, you want to directly put it on to wherever you're going to do it because otherwise it kind of sinks and it's harder to use. So I put that on and I immediately just start buffing everywhere. And this, again, it just helps give it a really nice smooth finish. I noticed that once the mitt gets too saturated, it can just start like streaking everywhere. So it, it's not really great for doing two coats, but this is. So I do this all over everywhere. I wait another 10 minutes. I put my clothes on. I wait for like six, seven hours, however long you feel. I cannot sleep in self-tan. That makes me cringe. That's like a phobia. Like, no, I'm not doing it. Like props to you if you can do that. I can't. Then I wash it off and I don't use soap when I wash. I just rinse in the shower. I used to use a soap and I feel like it would dull the tan. I also don't shave afterwards like I used to because I noticed that it removes a lot of the tan off my leg. And I know a lot of people are like, well, you're going to get, you know, strawberry legs. They're going to look, you know, the tan is going to seep into your hair follicles on your leg. And I'm sorry, like ain't nobody got time to be worrying about all the things at once. Like I just can't. So you know what? I'm going to have poor looking legs maybe. Let's check it out now. <laughs> well, the hair is already growing back in because I'm a monkey, but I just can't be arsed to be honest. Like I just don't have time to care about that. So I don't. Um, I probably will have to shave my legs again tomorrow before I go out and then maybe some of the tail will come off and you know what, FML. I also want to pop up like a before and an after image on the screen. So we have obviously this is the before here and then this is today. So I applied it yesterday and this is you know after I've gone to sleep and it's really just fully set and it's just it's so nice. I've never tried doing just one coat with this. Normally when I do self tan, I do just one coat, but I figured, you know, go big or go home. So I really, really love the way that this came out. It's so even, I don't feel like it even looks bad around my hands or anything like that. It's just like, I don't know, here, stand up. Like just, it's just such a nice, even golden tan. With that being said, you definitely should buy this. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Um, you needed it like yesterday, get on there, add to cart. Do the damn thing. So that is it for today guys. I really hope you enjoyed this review and thank you so much for watching.